There's a new study out there that the scientific community has been buzzing about that's gaining a lot of steam. It's about the benefits of doing just five days of low calorie eating per month, and it's being called the next big thing in weight loss. Today, what you need to know before you try it. Take a look. The word fasting sounds daunting, even to the most dedicated dieters. But what if fasting just meant cutting down calories for five days out of the month? The other 25, you're free to eat normally. This new spin on intermittent fasting claims to give users the benefits of calorie deprivation while allowing much more food. The only requirement, eating 1,000 calories or less on fasting days. Fans of the diet report increased fat loss, more stamina, and an ability to break through old diet and exercise plateaus. Now, researchers are testing to see if intermittent fasting can decrease your risk for diabetes and heart disease, potentially prolonging your life. Critics say this diet may not be for everyone. Today, the benefits and risks of this buzzy new diet. Is it the right plan for you? This new way of eating appeals to a different type of dieter, someone who has trouble measuring and restricting on a daily basis, and they want more freedom. So who out there says that they're struggling with dieting? Let me see a show of hands. You got a lot of folks. <laughs> What's the problem with the regular diets for you? I end up just snacking all the time, so I can't really keep to um, a certain amount of calorie intake. And, and do you ever feel like you need a break? Constantly. Constantly, all right. <laughs> That's a big issue for a lot of dieters. How about you, how many diets have you tried? Um, I've tried a couple of diets. You usually get, you know, I get two, three days in, I'm angry, cranky, <laughs> I, I, I work full time, I have four boys, I can't keep up, and then you're supplementing with sugar, coffee, whatever it is to get you you know, to the third or fourth day, and I usually give up after that. So what would it mean if when you got to that third or fourth day, you only had one more day to go, because there's five days total mm -hmm. per month. How would that change everything? I think it's something I can definitely, you know, stick to. I, you try, I'm willing to try it. Willing to try it. That's what I <laughs> frankly, finding the right program for you is all about mm -hmm. that. It's about customizing to you. That's what the show's about. It's the big idea today. So I'm gonna walk you through what this program is like. It's brand new, it's been outlined by a big USC study, university study, and there've been now a couple different ways of looking at it. All right, stay right there. Okay. Let me educate everybody about what we're doing here. So every month, every month, you're gonna pick five days in a row where you're gonna restrict your calories. The rest of the month, you eat what you normally do. So on these low calorie days, I'm just making it up, it's a Monday through a Friday, for example, you're gonna eat only 1,000 calories. The other days, you can do what you wanna do. But those 1,000 calories for those five days have to be primarily plant-based food. That's the program. So the question you should be asking yourself is, what does 1,000 calories really look like? So we teamed up with the Cleveland Clinic and they took us inside their test kitchen to show us. 1,000 calorie fasting days, as outlined in the study out of USC, consists of only plant-based foods and is made up of the following, 56% fat, 34% carbohydrate, and very little protein at only 10%. I partnered with our resident chef, Jim Perko, to figure out exactly what this looked like. Here's what we came up with, one day's worth of 1,000 calories. For breakfast, an egg frittata. For lunch, a tomato-based soup. This is Dr. Royzen's recipe. For a midday snack, we have some hummus and crackers. Dinner consists of spaghetti squash and tomato sauce. And finally, chocolate tofu mousse for dessert. Dr. Mike Gordon, the Chief Wellness Officer of the Cleveland Clinic, and happens to be my best friend, thanks for being back, has been following this research very closely. And I think we're probably gonna see some fad diets piggybacking off this important research. Right, this is already huge in the United Kingdom because it makes your waist thin and it may have really important health benefits, but you want to do it this specific way. So walk us through these health benefits. What's so big about fasting for five days, basically, and every day of the day of the month, you can do what you want? Well, first, it decreases abdominal fat, which decreases inflammation in you. That's really important. Second, it decreases all the risk factors for heart disease, again, very important. And our biggest epidemic is type 2 diabetes, yeah. and it decreases your risk for type 2 diabetes as well. But it may do something even more important than that. Mm -hmm. The holy grail of aging mm -hmm. is replacing your old cells or your damaged cells with new cells. Mm -hmm. And your stem cells can do that if you have enough of them. Right. Well, this periodic fast 
in yeast, in mice, and in a few humans. It's really preliminary data from Dr. Longo. In fact, does that. It allows your stem cells to reproduce themselves. So it's a longer story, but we know now that it decreases these important things, abdominal fat, heart disease risk factors, diabetes risk factors, and makes you thinner, and it may, may, just help you to get real young. Now you highlighted the fact that it's been looked at, like scientists often do, in, in different species. There have been 19 humans, but you actually spoke to the author, and he's completed an additional study on, on what, 35? 35 more humans, so 54 is all. So I wanted to try it, you know, before you ask patients to do it, I wanted to try it myself. Yeah. How difficult is it? How easy is it? What factors do you feel? How do you feel? So I did it myself. And? Did you do the work? It, one, it wasn't that tough. It was pretty easy to do. And second, by the end of the five days, I wasn't hungry at all. And if you will, third, what was interesting, I do the same exercise routine, you know that. At the beginning part of the exercise routine, I had plenty of energy. But you get a little tired earlier, so you can't do quite as much as you used to do in those five days. So the thing is, friends don't let friends fast alone. <laughs> so I actually did it too. Uh, and I felt sort of a zen almost peaceful feeling. It wasn't that hard for me with regard to hunger. We're men, so it might be different for women. Um, but I didn't also feel like I was the life of the party. There's something about carbs and eating all you want that just makes you want to go out there and, you know. And, and you know he's got a lot of energy. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually still had a different kind of energy. It just wasn't what I'm normally used to, which I'm only putting out to you because you should measure that. There's something sort of cool about that kind of energy. So come on, up. let's look at your numbers. So Dr. Royzen was kind enough to take some blood tests before and after he did the fasting. You're already in pretty good shape. No one lets you show off, but he wanted to, that's right. But he, he did actually lose three pounds, which is pretty cool because he didn't have that much to lose with to begin with. So again, one of the things they've seen in those studies that have been done so far in humans. And your LDL cholesterol, that's the lousy cholesterol, the kind you don't want, it went from 84, which is pretty respectable, down to 71. So even better. Now that's after three months on this plan, which I think is pretty impressive. You're, you're impressed? I'm, I'm very impressed it, and it was easy. who has trouble sticking to a diet, which is most of us, we're talking about a new way of eating where you only have to cut calories for five days a month. Now, there's usually two questions you all want to answer when you decide if you're going to try a new diet and if you want to figure out if it's right for you. First off, what can I eat? Will I like it? And how will I feel? So Dr. Royzen has been overseeing two women who gave it a try. Renita is the first, and she actually decided to do this <laughs> bravely. What is it that pushed you over into trying this program? So, hey, hey, Dr. House, how you how doing? You? Good. So, um, how you doing? Yeah, I'm all right, yes. <laughs> um, so, you know, I've been on a weight loss journey my entire life, right? I lost um, weight in 2009, about 80 pounds, so I was about 60 pounds. Gained oh, it back, God. clearly, oh. right? In 2012, again, 85 pounds, gained it back. Now, that's, you know, I mean, notice the sequence. Yeah. Three years, three years. So, it's three years again, yeah. and I'm 35, right? So, I told myself I did not want to be on the other side of my 30s as a big girl. Yeah. So, you know, I started a, a Facebook group called RoFit 35. Yes. Good for you. Yes, thank Rofit you. RoFit 35. Thank you. <laughs> you know, RoFit, Renato Ophelia Whitaker, that's my name, and I'm 35. So I didn't want it to be RoFit 36 next year. So, yes. hello, you Step know. Up now. I'm stepping up now. And we're going to customize it to you. That's Absolutely. the goal. Absolutely, yes. We're all customize it to There's myself. only one Renita 35. Re yes, Renatha. Renatha. Yes. <laughs> it, it probably is a Renita somewhere. All right. Yeah, so I know her. A thousand <laughs> 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 a thousand calories a day. Yes. Mm -hmm. right? It doesn't sound like a lot of food, although when I saw that little Cleveland Clinic test kitchen, mm -hmm. so it looked like it was a reasonable amount. Yeah. So is this sort of what you were eating? Yeah, so this is what I was eating. Um, but before, so, yeah. uh, before I actually mm -hmm. go through it, because I do think it's important people yeah. to understand this, I want to know how hungry you were at each stage. So oh, okay. um, you just give us a rough idea. I know you, we kept track with you. So mm -hmm. tell us what you ate, and we're going to tell you how much hunger she had that day. All right, so I woke up hungry. Woke Number up one, okay. okay. Right. <laughs> I woke up hungry, okay. <laughs> so I had um, the shake. I tried the shake, which is the green smoothie. Um, I altered it a little bit. I put coconut water in it to give it a little more flavor, you know. Good to have some substance. You know, yes. I need some, some for my palate, my taste buds. <laughs> so it was really, it was really good, and it filled me up. But by 11:30, I needed a snack. I needed a snack. So I got me some pepitas. That was on the list. Yes. Pepitas, and that's um, pumpkin seeds for folks who don't know what that is. That's pumpkin seeds. They were really, really good, and they satisfied my 
my hunger. Um, but around lunchtime, lunchtime I had the, um, the tomato soup. Now I added peas to the tomato soup, okay, because I needed to thicken it up, bulk it up some, because I needed to full, feel full, okay? Peas and some This is Dr. Royden's original recipe? Yes, this is his original recipe, but, your original recipe, but I had to put a little spin you, on you it. You made it look better. <laughs> yes, I had to put you, a little spin on it. Needed some bulk, some texture, right? Okay. <laughs> you need to hire her for your kitchen there. <laughs> I love it. I'm hireable. <laughs> yes. So um, um, after that, that's lunch, but around Can three... you come to Cleveland? Absolutely. Fly me in. Yes. <laughs> so look, so around, but so that's lunch, but around three o'clock, I'm telling you, I was in a shop right during this five days and I almost fell out. I was literally doing this. Wobbling. So I had to grab me an ice pop. That's on the list. This is a nice fruit ice pop. It's low in sugar. So I grabbed that and I was fine, you know. Um, so, so your hunger's getting better at this hunger's point. Hunger's getting better. Hunger's right. getting better. Now Interesting, because you haven't eaten that much, but your hunger's getting better. Right, yeah. 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 All right. Well, she hasn't eaten that many calories, but it's a lot of bulk. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, exactly. What, bulk. Um, peas. And what is it? That's, this is bulky. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> so this right here is a cabbage steak. Okay, mm. you got to say a cabbage steak. Steak, you know, steak. Right, because it makes you think you're eating a steak, but you're not. Oh. Um, <laughs> but this is awesome. I'm telling you, isn't it good? It's good. It's um, it rubbed with olive oil and garlic, mm. salt and pepper, and it's roasted in the oven. That'll really say shit about That's really good. It's really good. And I also had it with a sweet potato, a baked sweet potato. Was so that, that, was, that, that was on the program? That's also on the program as well. Now, you get program. dessert with this thing, too? Hello. Now, listen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So after dinner, I had desserts. Now this is a tofu. Now you didn't have it right after dinner. Not you waited a little bit. A little, a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> a little bit. Okay, so this is tofu chocolate mousse. All right, mm, right. So you hear tofu, you're like, eh, but it's chocolate mousse. Yes, people, okay? <laughs> so this was really good, but to, you know, it was a little bitter, but to, to, you know, to brighten it up, I added a little more maple syrup and some strawberries, yes. Oh my goodness. So that was really, yeah, that was really good. When you are done all this stuff, mm -hmm. obviously your hunger went back and forth, back and forth. Yes. But, and when you went to bed at night, were you starving? Um, a little, little, a little. Starving. Yeah, I was a little yeah. starved. <laughs> but you know, it's five days. It's only five days, okay? So, and for the rest of the month, you can just eat and you know eat. <laughs> you can just eat and work out, you know, regularly. I, I, I can't wait to find out what you're gonna eat now when you're free Honey, from these. Honey, I'm going. Okay, mm -mm. Mm, oxtails, Ryan. Oxtails? Yes, oxtails. <laughs> They're not in the list, rice, I guess. <laughs> honey, rice and peas. You know, just a, a small mini. That's what they call it at the Jamaican store. Mini. <laughs> <laughs> Rather, you were fabulous. I really enjoyed it. The modern game. All right. Now, in addition to getting hungry, like Renata pointed out, you can also get hangry. In fact, there are a lot of emotions when you're trying to fast, and you're getting to experience them all. So Melissa tried it, and she kept a video diary of all her fast feelings on Dr. Mm -hmm. Royce's program. Take a look. Good morning, everybody. It's the first day. I am totally excited and motivated. I'm gonna do my weigh-in. 185.2. I have made for my family bacon and eggs, and it took me everything to not just squeeze in one bite. And unfortunately, I'm coming across my first downfall. I am making our Sunday dinner, of which I will not be able to take part in. Today is day two. I'm starving, I'm miserable, and I can't wait for day five. Today is day three, and for some reason I woke up motivated again. I'm hoping that I find much more energy as yesterday. I was a bummer and couldn't wait to go to bed. Day four of my cleanse. I am very excited for today. I feel much more motivated. Um, I can actually tell a difference in the way that my pants are wearing. It's day five. I am feeling great. I have more energy than ever. It was very easy getting used to it and certainly flattened out my stomach. So there you had it. Melissa had her ups and downs. So big question, was it worth it? Definitely. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Next month, here I come. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on new videos to live the good life.